very few things are as scary as choosing the wrong job. We spend a third of our life in a job, often more. And then, of course, there's all the people who tell us about how passionate they are about their work and their life. And all of that is just piling up the pressure to make the right choice. But what if that pressure becomes too much? What if you don't know exactly what to do? Or even if you have an inkling, you're just very worried to make the wrong choice. That is what we are tackling in this video today. Hi there, my name is Kai. In this community, I talk about careers and leadership and how to put it together to live a fulfilled life. And this video in particular is quite close to my heart because I have in the past and I still sometimes do suffer from those same fears. And I know several people who struggle making a decision because it could be the wrong one. And then we are stuck. First, I thought all I need to do is understand my fears and where they are coming from and then I can make a decision easy. And I discovered four fears that affected myself. The first one being that I was afraid that I didn't know what to do. And that is a valid fear, except that we make it often bigger than it needs to be. Take people like Casey Neistat or Elon Musk or Lady Gaga. Did they know exactly what they wanted to do? Likelihood is that they didn't because there was nobody out there before that did what they were set out to do. They only had an inkling that they liked filmmaking or science or music, and then they evolved from there. So I would say to myself today, drop the perfectionism. Start with something that is close to your heart and then evolve from there. My second fear was that if I say yes to one thing, it means saying no to many other things. And that is true for all decisions. If you want to become skillful at one thing, you have to say yes to that. You have to put in the work. When I started out this journey here on YouTube, I knew very little about cameras or color grading or audio. And I had to say yes to that. And by that, I also said no to many other things in my life. But it's not as black and white, because as I became more skillful, I then added those other skills here to this channel. My passion for business and careers and leadership, as well as transforming that into living a fulfilled life. Don't be afraid to say yes. It's only a temporary no for all your other skills. There is another problem of saying yes, though, and that led me to my third fear, the fear of failure, or maybe it's a fear of success too. You may have noticed that in December, there were a couple of weeks when I didn't publish any videos. And here's why. It all started with me wanting to create the best video that I can make. I didn't want to have any excuses about the thumbnail or the storyline or the production value, all the things that matter. And so I put all my heart and effort into that. And the resulting video was this one over here. And then I published it and nothing happened. It got viewed as many times as all my other videos. I spoke to a few friends and they said, yeah, it's a great video, same as the others. And yet I spent three times as much time onto this one video than all the others before and it was heartbreaking. And because I saw the result of it, I just couldn't get myself to make another video at the time. When you say yes to one thing and put all your heart and all your effort in, it's very hard to see beyond the effort that you put in. What I learned though is that how I felt about the video had very little to do with how everybody else was feeling about it. And that taught me that whether I succeed or I fail, I can still go on and try other ways. I won't be stuck. And that is the fourth fear that I face. The fear of being stuck. The fear that if I do something now, I have to do that forever. We all suffer from the sunk cost fallacy that the more time and effort we put into something, the thought of leaving it becomes unbearable. I do love episodes of The Dragon Den and occasionally there are entrepreneurs coming in where everybody in the den is just shocked by the amount of time or money that they've put into their idea. And they want to take them and shake them and say, please stop. And if you suffer from that fear of being stuck, give yourself permission to review your situation every three months or so. 
is the amount of effort that you put into something still worth given the outcome that you see? Is there something that you would rather do because your work, your job or your career is not a life sentence? Now I understood my fears and as I said before, it will be now really easy to make a decision. Damn was I wrong because I did all of that and I even watched a bunch of YouTube videos too and then I did nothing. How come? Fears are irrational. They cannot be beaten by analyzing them. They can only be beaten by action and action comes from also focusing on the things that can happen. You might find yourself going to work happy every day. You might find yourself getting out of bed is a joy rather than a dread. You might find that solving those new problems will actually fulfill you. You might find that you form new friendships at work or even a love relationship. So the one thing, the one dramatic thing that needed to happen for me in order to overcome the fear of picking the wrong job is pick a job. You already know what field you are interested in, even if the perfectionist in you wants you to believe otherwise. You already know that you will evolve in that field and make use of all the other skills that you have. And you know that success or failure is temporary, but the journey itself will teach you where you will end up. So take a moment, please, and also focus on the things that can happen to you, the great things, the beautiful things in your life. Once I did that, the task of picking a job or a career became much less daunting. I knew that the journey will teach me the things that I love and the things that I hate. But it also made me a lot more confident in my actual skills because now they apply to all of my careers. And time played a very critical role as well. We are in 2022 and the traditional model of a career is changing. It's less and less relevant, whereas in the future we have much more flexibility. If you want to learn more about that, watch the video that's on the screen right now. Thanks for spending the time with me and listening to my story. I really appreciate it. If you gained something out of it and liked it, click the like button. I will see you the next time around. Take care.